I'm here at the Concourse d'Elegance uh, car show in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I'm here with Carl Dietrich, the CEO, correct? Yep. Of um, this company that made a flying car. And can you tell me exactly what its name is? Sure, sure. This vehicle is Terra Fugia's transition personal air vehicle. Terra Fugia is from the Latin terra, meaning earth or land, and Fugia is like the fugitive, to flee or escape, so it's to flee the earth. Uh, we call it a rotable aircraft or a street legal airplane. It's something that's very different. It's designed to fit inside the existing general aviation infrastructure. So this is a general aviation airplane that can fold up its wings, drive down the road legally, park in a single car garage, you can gas it up at a normal gas station, and it's basically designed to bring a new level of convenience and flexibility to the private pilot or the person who's willing to become a private pilot in order to have a vehicle like this. So you're saying that I could just drive up to an Exxon station, fill up like a normal car, kind of drive around, go to an airstrip and take off? Exactly. I had uh, experience as a research assistant at, at MIT and I had a number of internships at other uh, companies, big aerospace companies, NASA, other places like that. And I found through that that being a little cog in a big machine was not something that I was really attracted to. And uh, in 2004, when the FAA created this new category of aircraft called light sport aircraft, it opened up a window of opportunity to do something entrepreneurial in aviation, which really combined a couple of my passions. Has the FAA been really um, understanding and have they worked with you? One of the things that we've got going for us is that the primary mission of the FAA is to pr improve aviation safety. A vehicle like this, where we're bringing automotive safety technologies to light sport aviation. That has the potential to significantly reduce the number of fatalities. This is the wing of the vehicle, and you'll notice a few things about it. First of all, uh, we've got a wingtip light that tells you kind of where the airplane is so you can see it far off in the distance. These are actually bumper strips like you would have on the door of your car. Right. So that when the wings are folded up against the side of the aircraft, if you're parked in a parking lot somewhere and somebody slams open their car door, <laughs> into the side of your wing, it's not gonna do any damage. This is one of our rudders here. This controls the yaw of the aircraft. This is our elevator. Controls the pitch of the aircraft, nose up, nose down. Um, moving towards the back here, we've got the propeller. On the ground, this is disengaged. So this is not connected to the engine. You're not being pushed by the propeller on the ground. It's front wheel drive on the ground. This is the control stick. It telescopes up into position. I've got my right hand on the throttle here on the center console, left hand on the control stick. And you can see when I move this stick, I'm moving the control surfaces. It's very, very familiar to any driver. You just move your foot right here. You put your right foot, gas, brake. Just like a normal automatic transmission car. No clutch. Uh, steering wheel, of course, right here. So just gas, brake, and steering wheel for driving. Most airplanes actually have to crawl up on top of the wing or duck down below the wing in order to get in or out. So this, you get in and out like you get in and out of a car. Yes, it actually flies. Yes, it actually drives. And yes, you could fit it in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. Well, thank you very much, Carl. All right, thank you.